What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be playing Grand Theft Auto 5 again. And this is part 11 of me playing it. So now we're going to be going to to the to my aunt's house. Why are we here? We are women. We are free. We're bringing it to the patriarchy. We are women. You are free. We are women. You are shut. We are women. Have no doubt. We are women. We are free. Free. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my N word. Hey, hey. What's up, homie? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Oh, what a, is that how you act, huh? When a, when a friend makes a mistake, huh? No, uh, really? Man. Oh, no. What, oh, so what? It's just me getting hurt? Is that funny? No, huh? man. Well, oh, fuck you! I'm gonna put you in the fucking ground. You laugh at me again. Damn, it was just a joke. I have met a lot of assholes in my life, but you, well, you're not long for this world if this is the way you fucking act. You little jumped up motherfucker! Look, how about this, man? Calm down. It was funny at first, man. I made a mistake. Unfortunately, man, you failed. It was funny, all right? I apologize. I accept your apology. Okay? All right, so let's hug it out. Yeah, no, 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 no. <clears throat> nah, but, nah, right? You're so fucking you fucking gotcha. Oh, fuck, no, I'm not funny. Fucking asshole. Oh, fuck. I had a difficult childhood. Damn, man, you all right? I'm just, I'm just fucking on edge, you know? Look, I love you, right? But I would have... Look, look, fucking! Look, look, man. Lester said you had some information for us about Michael. Michael? Fuck Michael. I hope he's dead. Man, I know y'all two, man. Come on, man. You two had beef before. But what the fuck happened in North Yankton? Somebody pinched him, man. Who? My friend Ron met these Chinese assholes. They're from Yangshan in China. We had some problems. They mistakenly thought Michael was a human being and kidnapped him. Yeah. And now it looks like they holding him somewhere in the city. Yes. Come on, bro. Well, go fuck yourself. You want that piece of shit? That's your fucking business, all right? He's dead to me, all right? And chances are, if and when I see him, he's going to be dead to everyone else as well. Hey, come on, bro. Don't do that. You're pushing your luck, pal. What was that? What? Mm. What was that? Nothing. Ah! Mm, assholes! Everybody! Assholes! <sighs> Every drunk man. Sorry about hey, you. It's me. What did Trevor say? Man, Mike was being held by a Chinese crew because of Trevor. The irony isn't lost. I'm sending you an app for your phone. But Michael's cell just came back online. This will track its signal. It'll work better the closer you get. Be careful. Sure. Ah! I told you, he ain't my G laugh. Don't try to persuade me, you're not lovers. He's laughing at you, you fucking idiot. You're making a mistake. It costs a lot of money to track you down. I had to coin every favor I could in the Midwest. And then you kill several good men. Good day, huh? Good day. Good fucking day to you! Kill him. Kill him. Hey, hey. Oh, The meat grinder. Where do I go? Hey, let's meet up next week. Hey. Find Michael's location. Where else do I go? Launch the track find in the the phone app. Your humanity. Uh. Hey, what this shit? 
Uh. Okay, let me just at least. Okay. Okay, I'm close. There, there. Let me down. Let me. Get that. I ain't loading your shit. in this somewhere how you get in Okay, maybe I need to look up a YouTube video on how to do this because I'm really confused right now. I know where he is now. He's here. Okay, hold on. I need to go to the bathroom real quick. Okay. Let's go.
Where's Michael? Where's my friend? Where's Ned Luke? You got a whole life, dude, that don't belong to you. Where you at, bro? Nikki is the way in. Michael! Try to release this dude! Hey, where they got you, man? Michael, you in here, man? Oh! In case you ain't figured out, I ain't paying no rent. You want me to waste the boys with? Fuck it! Jesus! Two seconds! Yes, yes, yes! There's more guys coming from down there. Throw me a gun! Oh, I got it! <laughs> throw me a piece! There you go! Hit a guy you was talking about! Thanks. Yeah. Follow me, man. Back off, man. Let us go. Yeah. Not all I love you, Franklin. Something was up. Then I spoke to Trevor and he said the Chinese had you. Trevor told you. She had not willingly, but yeah, he told me. 
of fucking fish. Hey, Griff, your ass. Way more than a normal middle age shit that y'all do. Yeah, well, if he wants to have it out, Frank, then I got news for you. He knows where to fucking find you. I saved your ass so you could kill one another? I thought we was in business together, the Union Depository. Yeah, that might have to wait, Frank. Sure. us on the fucking way. He's putting it in the investment fund. Really? Yeah, really. What we gonna fucking do? All right, then. I'll see you. Show. Hey, you sure you don't want to come in? What, your big empty-ass house? Dog, I'm depressed enough already. All right. Well, listen, thanks. Look, man, before you go, what the fuck happened up there? I said, Trevor went crazy, tried to kill me, I got jumped by the Chinese. Man, before all that, I'm talking about the Fed, Trev, this guy Brad, man. I know what you meant. All right, look, I made a judgment call. I don't know if it was the right one. I did what I thought I had to do. I had a young family, Franklin. I was running with a crew of crazy motherfuckers with nothing to lose. I saw an out, a future for me, for my family. I took it. You took it? Man, you burned every motherfucker you've ever known. It was that or die. <sighs> Look, I know it sounds cold. I don't expect you to understand it. Not yet, but you will. When you got ties of your own. Look, you wake up one day, and, and your legs, they just give. And you just can't run anymore. All right, man, look. You watch your back, all right? When Trevor finds out you're still alive, I don't know what the fuck he gonna do. Don't worry about Trevor. He's not gonna get near me. Hey, you watch your back. You hear me? Dog, it ain't me he coming for. We straight. It's you, dog. It's you. I'm just saying. <sighs> I blame no one for this. I only blame Trevor. Fresh meat. We get to, yay, we get to play as Michael again. When are we gonna see Michael's family again? See what the S is. Solomon. Ah, okay. We'll do this mission. Christ alive! Give me, sweetheart. Huh? Ah. Set some fat fucking old jackass on 
on me, please! Big man! Where are you going, tough guys? Sorry, I didn't mean to skip. <sighs> Alright, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run him over and then I'm gonna shoot at him. Hey! Here's an old man who might hit back! Eliminate Re Rocco. Yeah, I thought you were a tough guy. I'm only a paraplegic, but you can't feel anything. Ah, uh, yeah, you're throwing me softballs. Rum runner. But uh, speaking of accidents, those guys had one. Oh, if only we'd met 20 years ago, Michael. Maybe I wouldn't be in this mess. Yeah, you and me both, brother. Look, it's a pain, I know. But could you come by the studio now? I got something I'd like to show you. Yeah, of course. I'll be right over. Okay. Turns out maybe I'm cut out for the movie business after all, huh? My friend, you're a sentimental thug with zero artistic training and nothing interesting to say. I would say you're overqualified. <laughs> anyway, shut up and take a look at that. Oh. 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 Fucking A. Feels good, doesn't it? Associated Production. Done something with Michael DeSanta. Actually done something. Movie. Welcome to show business. Nothing but make believe will ever feel quite real again. <laughs> All right, Michael, come on. Let me show you some rushes. I think you're gonna love it, but it'd be great to hear your notes. Hey, baby, I just wanted to tell you, I'm finally doing something with my life. I'm making a movie, a real one. Call me. <sighs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, I'm glad that Michael's life is now going up hills. Now let's go to Leicester. Can I just put my helmet on? First, let's go to vehicle M. Well, that doesn't make sense at all. My money. Let's see how fast I can get this car to be.
Let's test out the speed. What's going on? Oh, just enjoying a little labor dispute. See, we're about to do something really, really bad. So I need to present myself as a proper textile magnet. So, so you stop making anything? Nothing looks more suspicious in America than someone who's actually prepared to make something. <laughs> Jesus. What about you? Oh, pocket, Trevor. We're having some problems. Brad. What else? Yes, anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. Can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Thank God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, Steve? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, the shit's about to hit the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Has he briefed you? Oh, well, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government corruption. Yeah, and if you don't, we're all gonna fry. Because the agency's on us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning my methods. <laughs> Think I'm a liar, <laughs> a cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief. So? So, there's some, uh, Evidence, and I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? You want Lester here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? No, 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 that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Fuck me. <laughs> Michael, you'd be doing me a very big favor. And if you do this, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey, it's the last thing we do, and we're done. Period. Okay. Of course. I'm a man of my word. Dave, let's go. Come on, Lester, let's go. Good luck, gentlemen. Take us to the FIB building, parking lot entrance. So, you got any idea how we'll do this? Scope it out? Uh, not really, but I thought we'd start by finding a way into the building. We're going in through the parking lot? No, 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 no. We're waiting for someone to come out of it. A janitor. All right. And how's that going to get us in? Well, the janitors are all on temp contracts. They get replaced when their backs go or they ask for a day off. So, we find one of these guys, we turn him, and that's our end. Okay. You a particular guy? I'm in the temp company's database right now. I found a guy about to clock off. Look at the file here. Let me see. Harvey Molina, license plate 83QSL722. We will follow him, see what we think. Sounds good. Control the car, please.
You should be coming out here soon. Ooh, what's this? Uh, another guy. So, what do you think about this whole messed up situation? I think they'll either kill you after this is done, or keep you doing these stupid jobs until they don't have to kill you because someone else has done it for them. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's it? Nope. So what do we do? Oh, what can we do? We do the job. And maybe you can delete the files when you're inside doing whatever else you're doing. That might be a way out. Yeah, well, a way out is exactly what I need. to get motivated right. on a job without financial incentive. You can't put a price on freedom. Well, that spur won't be there for the crew. Now, I'm gonna ask Mr. Haynes for a budget. Maybe the leftover cash from the Polito score. We need something. Yeah, see what you can do. Here we go. This is not the car we're looking for. That's the one. You know the drill. A couple of car lengths. So what's gonna happen when this guy gets wherever he's going? He's gonna get his severance package. Huh, I can't tell if that's some creepy euphemism or a plain statement of facts. It's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> okay. Hey, you mind? Put away the smartphone or pad or whatever the hell that is for a minute. This is, uh, one way to follow someone. No surfing while I'm trying to tail this guy. It's work-related. Yeah, well, I'd prefer all hands on deck right now, if it's okay with you. God, you're worse than my son. <laughs> you want to break into the FIB's West Coast headquarters, you're gonna need more than a janitor's license plate number. Now let me work on some angles while you, uh, keep this car behind that one and between these white lines. That's it. I mean, other than a few missing expletives in terms of racial abuse, that was my son in spades. I just spoke with Agent Haynes. We've got the budget to pull this off. Good. Come on. What do we do when he gets home? What do we need from him? We need cooperation. And maybe his overalls and an ID. And if he don't cooperate? You know what it's like to clean up shit for Steve Haynes? He'll cooperate. Back off a little, will ya? I appreciate the advice.
He may be the janitor, but he works for the Bureau. Give him some room. You want to drive? He's pulling up. Park down the block. Yeah, you got that thing? Go in and have a word. Harvey Molina. Pardon me. Hey, Marilyn. How's that cable connection? He's pulling over. Stop down the road a ways. Hey, Marilyn. How's that cable connection coming along? Fine, fine. Sorry, look, um, I'm busy. Only when she needs something. You got another one of those, Harvey? Who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. Fill your pockets with money, all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. Take any break I can get. Uh, hey, you want the beer? Nah, just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. Oh, and Harvey. I probably don't need to say this. But you don't play ball? I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. Successful? Oh yeah. We gotta go back to my office. That was easy. Guess you were right. Steve Haynes is a shitty boss. Hey, I called Frank while you were in there. He's coming to meet us. Yeah, huh? What do we need him for? Grunt work. Information gathering. What information? The plans to the office. There aren't any digital copies, or if there are, I'm not clever enough to find them. The architect is L.S. based, so I thought Frank could tail him, take a hard copy. Sounds complicated. You sure you need these plans? Yeah, I do. If I'm gonna find a way to bypass a couple of hundred million dollars worth of government security. Millions? They blew that much? Government contracts. License to steal. Wow. We are in the wrong business. No, you've just taken the wrong contracts. Ah, he's already here. Oh. Oh. Sorry, Lester. What's the problem, dog? Steve fucking Haynes. Of course it's Steve fucking Haynes. It's always Steve Haynes. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always <coughs> one of them. Battle to fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. 
Period. Yeah, whatever, dawg. It's either this or Dylan dying bad. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. Thanks. We need to find out uh. something about this FIB building, a weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. I hope he's a nice one. Man, I'm not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 no. Nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans. They're not online anywhere. I'm gonna need paper copies. Now, the architect's name is Chip Peterson. This was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right. <sighs> Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. Let's go to Michael. Sorry, I'm just a drunk man who have no idea how to drive since he doesn't have a license. Sorry, I'm just a drunk man who doesn't know how to drive. Because I got my license suspended for two years. No, I'm not. Mess with me. Hey, worth a lot more than you. Reuniting the family. So this is gonna be a family reunion. Okay. Jimmy! Hey! Oh. Hey. I'm sorry I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things and then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out. But all that wimpy shit is just... Well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore. And the ones yeah. that I really like, it's not because they're gay. So... Lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit. Uh, I'm so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. Oh, a drunk, lame dad. Oh, I love you too. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. Yeah. 
So will you buy me a car? What? I mean, not in this so will you buy me a car kind of way in a completely no! way, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. Oh, you admit now. Secondly, I will get a job and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? Well, that's good to hear. I love you. I love you. Go. Get a job. Because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably going to be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? It's great catching up with you too, Dad. Yeah. Hey. Uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. No, she's not. She's bored. Mm. I mean, all this mesmerizing tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring and compassionate man is great and all. But what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right. I can take a fucking hit. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. Maybe. Mom said she was at Bean Machine. Look out! I like the wheels. So, what's been happening? You know, I don't know stuff. No, I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been. It's. It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I'd, you know. Oh, okay. Here they are. There we go. Hey, come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. Let's start drama. Lifestyle guru and a little bit more boy toy, please. Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, here. woman. Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. <laughs> True. Everyone. Picture of holistic well-being. I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey. Oh. Hey, hey. Amanda, come. I have a new unit out on hold. You must pay for it. Hey, hey, buddy. I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Thank you. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Yes. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. Well, well, what are you... Yeah! I had some really good work there, you dick! <laughs> that came from, Holmes. Yeah! Is he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I want it. I'm meaning to say to you. I just... What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic old drunken mess and he needs you and you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation Someone Shut up. <laughs> i guess we could try all i'm asking for is a shot neutral ground dr friedlander's office it's perfect all of us i'll pick up tracy and bring her there meet you Fine. all right you come on get up Idiot. Yoga? No. No yoga. All right. You know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. But what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on. I want one too. Later. I think Tracy's over at the tattoo parlor. Huh? Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, oh god, that Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo. Laszlo. What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we oughta. Hey. Oh, man. Ask her. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is more than okay with me. 
Yeah, I mean with me and your mom. Uh, I think they're in here. I'm looking for something hip that, you know, says I'm capable of violence, mm -hmm. but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes, even if <laughs> whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So you'll let me on the show if I blow you? What? And if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. 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 <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the Angslinger, sit on him. Laszlo here's gonna have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. stay put, you lame-ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Ear, nose, bro, bro. Oh! a fucking tent over here, you fucking psycho! Come on, you've got to disinfect that. Ah, you fucking prick! Jesus! Come on, just not the top. Ah! Ow! Oh, that looks dirty. Yes, it does. Oh my god! Papa Bear! What's daddy number two gonna think about this? Let's not get him involved. Let's do uh, just just to be clear. Let's Ta tattoo on his chest. Uh, you butcher! Ah, uh, let me get to work. I think I know what he's writing. Should I draw his three pubic hairs? Oh! <laughs> oh! You got like a camera phone or a mirror? I can... Oh yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash you over the head with it. Yes! Snip, snip. Snip, snip. Stop, shop. You fucking ass. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> oh no, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, so what you gotta get. Is my daughter whatever she wants? Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. <laughs> oh, I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Okay, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it. Just do it. Yeah. All right. All right, Trace. Let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So, I like call you or something, okay? No, no. <laughs> Never a family that. Therapy. <laughs> yes. How do I look? Horrible. It's not good, is it? Yeah, you deserve everything. I knew you could use a tattoo gun. It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Ew. Are you serious? Come on. No. Not quite. Okay, now let's go to the therapist. Not to be difficult, but your therapist hasn't exactly been transferred. Oh my god, shut the hell up! So your I voice is so annoying. To help four dysfunctionals. Hey, this was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Huh? Now he god, her voice is so annoying. Like Fabian? Around the head with the laptop? Oh yeah, like pow! Our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the bean machine bad. To be honest, and I know it's karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate that dude. Yeah, I know, right? So up his own ass. Drive carefully! So up his own ass. Yeah. You're a fucking contortionist. You a bee. I can tort my junk all day long, and I don't have to feel superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey. Oh my god. Tracy's voice is so annoying. Yes. Yeah, don't like actually rob a liquor store. That might like kill the mood. Fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. Yes, we do. You, aren't into it, you can just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. 
I got all the prescriptions I need, at, at least for the meantime. Michael, kids, let's go inside. Okay. Let's do this. Amanda. Hello. Good to see you again, Michael. I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. This is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. <laughs> every waking moment working on themselves inside and out. I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh, all I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. Hey, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? Oh, wait. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You fucking ain't right on deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid do it. shit. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh. Great. I think we made some real progress there. No, we did not. Oh, uh, Michael. <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. Uh-huh. Double? Squared. Yep. Of course. Take care now. Well, that went well. So you gonna come home with me or what? Guess we'll give it a try. Yeah. All right then. Kids. Are you gonna take us home then? Yep. I'm so excited that I'm finally gonna shave my beard off. What? I don't know, like maybe we still had a ways to go. You know, like maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Mm -hmm. I got a warm fuzzy feeling. Oh my gosh, shut the hell up. Your voice is so annoying. Cathartic. Alright. I just don't want it to be more of the same. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention something. Today is July 1st. So you know what that means? Pride month is over. Finally. I'm tired of seeing all the gay people going around thinking it's their month. For real peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander or my yoga teacher or our tennis coach or the juice guy or the dog walker. Oh, or, hey, hey. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Oh. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths, changing our names, all the lying to the FIB? That monster Trevor. There's no explaining Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? No, 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 no. No, jeez. Just one thing, Michael. Don't get us killed. And don't get killed. Can you do that? I'll give it my best shot. With every fiber of my being, I will do. Seriously? Kids, rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, <laughs> we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. The family is back. I'm so happy that I'm going to shave my beard off.
But who am I going to play as now? Oh, Trevor. What did you do? Hey, what would happen if a drunk man swim? I want to shave my beard. I'm just trying to help you as best I can. Should what did you KD ratio on my resume? What did Michael do this time? I'm gonna go shave. someone that knows what they want i like that are you gay because it sounds gay to me looking good i love making people tell yeah he's gay. he's gay he's gay he's gay yeah welcome back michael There you go, he's back to normal. That was fun. See you around. I'm going. Let's play as Franklin. Hey, Mike. It's Franklin, man. I'm following the architect. All right. Don't fuck it up. All right. Hey, stupid. You can't be on here without a hat. Oh. <laughs> Anything we need to be worried about? The only thing we're worried about is you changing the plans again. There's always scope for improvement. Always is. Those idiots drilled the new caissons on the west side. You're kidding me. 
The bedrock ends there. We need caissons on the east side. Remember when I fought here? That was pretty cool. We'll be paid until completion. I ain't taking a fall for this screw up. It's a government contract. No one's taking the fall. Except the government. Study him and study him hard. I was gonna wipe my ass on him. That's the engineer's plan. Mine you treat like a religious text, remember? Yeah, that's it. Okay, I don't know that's how a knife works, but that's pretty cool. Damn it! Actually, you know what, Simeon? For firing me, you deserve this. Never mind, you can have it. by your boys like that yeah i don't fucking know probably not all right lester what do you got i don't quite know yet give me a minute i'm not a fucking computer oh 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 maybe i am <laughs> here's what i think we have two options the new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency you know uh Earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang. The emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by uh, by air. Hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. 
sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by the vision of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah. Any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way? With the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access through the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. I'm always gonna given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? I'm always gonna add to the rooftop. You'll need a, a hacker, a gunman, and a driver. The hacker won't come in with you, but they'll help you break the system, talking you through the process from a remote location. This guy, Ricky. I met him at the Life Invader office. He may not be that good, but he's enthusiastic. Mm. They did good Evangelico, remember? I don't know how long it'll take you to get into the... Sorry. He's my go-to guy. I ain't changing that now. The driver will be waiting outside on getaway. They'll source a vehicle, so bear that in mind. This girl, Taliana, she's supposed to be good. And she'll work for way less than she's worth, if you believe that. Ah, my lucky charm from the jewelry store. This is a protected federal building. Are you absolutely sure this is how you want to take it? Yes. And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit me. All right, hold on. No, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you know who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us. Oh, you're talking about Trevor. What? Money? Drugs? Your mother. No. There's this guy. He's been following me around. I think he's about to do something. I'll come. Find what plaza. Okay, wait there. He's been following me in my car, so let's just drive around and you can talk to him when he shows. Oh, yeah. We'll talk. Oh, yeah. We will talk. Oh. Let's see if we can find him. We should try over at Hawaiian Snow for him. We're looking for a guy in a purple convertible. I don't remember what name. Purple convertible. Keep an eye out. Thanks, Daddy. Hey, what are dads for, huh? I mean, other than giving his 
money, the roof over your head, speaking to guys who really know you like me. Is he here? No, he's not around. We should try that motel opposite the big construction site. Where'd you meet this guy? Uh, at a signing. What are you signing? Hot petition? Then you better not be taking out credit like a brush. Not credit. Him? I don't think so. Maybe we should look over at Cluck and Bell, Rockford Plaza. I, I was signing autographs at the expo. We found this brick. We have lift off. Not yet. Okay. Oh, how about going around the corner and back up the hill past Crockahoo? My baby girl's a celebrity with her very own stuff. Mm -hmm. You finally made it, Dad. You raise your kids in Rockford Hills. What was I thinking? You know, it's amazing you've turned out this good. Ah, purple car, that's him. Fuck, he's on you. Let's go. I didn't ask for He's out of the car. He's running. Oh, forgive me. Come on, boy. Run, you! Oh my God! You killed him! You killed him! Yes, I did. No one messes with my daughter. No one messes with my daughter. You just killed him! I can't believe it! What's wrong with that? Yes, it was. should have called you. Look. That's a good idea you called me. There are sickos out there. I couldn't take the chance. I know there are sickos out there. My dad is one of them. <laughs> Grow up, baby. It's time you got serious with your life. Yeah, I ain't perfect, but I love you. I guess he really scared me, but I, I didn't want to. But then pretend it never happened. Like, I try not to think about exactly what aspect of your creative expression enamored him so much. Okay, that's right. Denial kind of works for me. Thanks, Daddy. Bye! I'm glad I could use my paternal rage productively for once. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go to...
Great cops! Fucking beautiful! Ah, hello, my friend. Hey, I guess because I'm not the one who's about to die based on some inappropriate decision I made a long time ago. Uh, what did you do? Thanks for moral support. I appreciate it. What the fuck ever happened to Barry in the past, huh? Any fool should be able to turn over a new leaf, right? Well, first, your new leaves aren't so very different from your previous leaves. Seems like they fell from a very similar tree. Second, you're gonna burn the age of the internet. Friend. Nothing is forgotten. There are no new leaves. Everything you do and don't do is recorded forever and usually beat you. This is the age of judgment day every day. In the revelation of that, I'd say that you got off pretty lightly. What with all the, uh, the murders and the, and the thefts and. Alright. This straight talking new, uh, tell it like it is reality guy act. Uh -huh. It ain't working so well for me. In that case, um, don't worry about it. Everything is fine. You're a good man and a great father, really. It's more like it. Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey. So, what y'all talking about? The internet age. <laughs> The internet age. Oh, the internet man. age. Man, ain't we got a hotly defended federal building to fucking rob? Yes, we do. Let's get after it. I'm gonna miss this place. I think we're gonna do this thing and maybe take that score. Well, I... I guess this has all gotta be gone. Yeah. Alright, with the sad goodbyes. Go to the government facility. Hold on a second, I gotta go to the bathroom facility. Okay, I got back from the bathroom facility, so let's go. Actually, let's take this. Come on, my come on, Frank. Agents, thieves set up a base of operations at the news building off the Palomino Freeway. All right, now let's roll on this thing. Why are you so chipper? See, why are you so miserable? Must be an age thing. Great. Now there's something to look forward to. What's the plan again, man? And please, let it involve someone shooting you for being so goddamn miserable. Oh, what is this? Pick on me day? Look, I know I'm a miserable old prick, but give me a break. You and Lester. Shit. <laughs> so the plan was feeling sorry for your ass, right? I'm yeah. I'm just saying that shit, but sure. Let's feel sorry for Mike. Rich, white Michael, poor Michael, who robbed banks for 10 years, then got his slate wiped clean. Yeah, yeah. Poor Michaels, whose homies get into shit with the FIB out of the kindness of their own heart, put their necks on the line. Man, where's my get out of jail free car, motherfucker? I'm sorry, okay? You know what, Mike? You a real easy dude to identify with, man. Poor me. Poor me. Man, pour me a drink, nigga. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. I can see. Maybe I've been a little caught up in myself. A little. A little. Give me the plan, okay? All right. Here's the shot. We're taking a chopper up to altitude, jumping out, and climbing in through the bureau skylight. We hit the computer system. That might take a while, so we gotta hold off any resistance. Once we're in the system, we download the files. Chopper picks us up. Hey, that was real simple, wasn't it? I'm informed now, dog. All right, we're coming up. Chopper pilot. Gunman, driver, so we're gonna start the heist ready. now? I'll radio in. Guys, are we ready? Waiting on you. This place is in the creeps, Holmes. Same with the Sved pilot. Alright, I need IT outside the FIB building. Ready for the cyber part of this op. I'll be on standby, boss. Hey, right, here we go, man. This is on. Alright, you're Haynes' pilot, right? We gotta wait until it's late enough, then we move in the chopper. If you wanna pilot the first leg, I'll take over once you jump! 
Here we go again. Fly into the jump zone. Yeah. Be a better pilot, but I'm less inclined to kill you in your sleep. See, that ain't what he says. Okay, I'm less inclined to stab you in the face and then do funny things to your corpse. That sounds about right. Hey, everyone, quick pep talk. My friend Franklin here called me out for being an ungrateful prick on the way over here. I have to admit, I've been remiss. Everyone's being paid on this run except me. But it ain't great money for the crazy target you're drawing on your back, and there's a good chance this thing won't work at all. I took the job. I knew it was gonna be like that. Hey, look down there. Lester was kidding, homie. He tossed the joint. Yeah, it makes me think like he ain't got faith in his own crazy plan. So, in short, thank you for your efforts. It means a lot to me. I picked you guys out especially for this shit show. So take something from that if you will. There'll be more scores down the road. Maybe a big one. And sunnier days ahead. But this is where we are right now. So let's try to survive it and achieve our objectives. We stick together, we might not die. That's what's getting me through this. All right. When you say jump, I'll jump. Is this good enough?
Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll admit, I'll admit, that was bad. I'll admit, I'll admit that that was that was bad. I'll admit. So we're gonna try again. Come on. Okay. Come on, Franklin. Let's go, buddy. Got it. Great. <laughs> Better than an elevator. Ah, fuck. We're in. The server room is in the southeast corner of the building. I can't believe we're robbing an FBI room. It's locked! I'm setting a charge! Hey, here you go, dog. That's a nice weapon. Good people bring the right tools from the- Crap. Yeah, no shit. An explosion will tend to do that. I'm looking at the terminal. The programs are on your cell phone. Connected to the machine. They better be. Okay, okay. You're looking for the IP address, that number at the top, in the massive numbers in the middle. What the? The hell? How's... Zero two zero two zero two. How the hell does this work? Okay, okay. Now to take down the firewall, run bruteforce.exe. The program will expose each character of the password as it tries different encryptions. Select them quickly, because they won't be active for long. There. Looks like we're in. Good work. Start down and out dot exe, and I'll do the rest from here. Okay, people, we're rewriting history. Security team's been deployed. Hear that? We gotta hold them off while this thing completes its process. 
Hey, we knew this was coming. Let's do this. I'm sticking here. Starting with file transfer. Bring it down to the building, be ready to go! We need an airlift initiated! Oh. Line building! You think there's enough of them? Oh. Yo, Lion Cowboy! Oh. Hey. Oh. They're coming at us! Here's our lift! The network ain't down down yet! I'll hold here! Wait on your signal for pickup! Hey, stay there! Give us a second! Hey, we're busy! Corrupt asshole! Get out of here! You hiding, assholes! Leave us to it, punk! Ride this out! Repel from a few floors down. There. Ah. ah, shit, they smoking us out. Smoke bomb, be cool. Guys, you there? Ah. 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 Yeah, go ahead. The heli crash caused extensive damage. Ooh. The explosion went through a couple of floors. Sprinklers brought the fire under control, but be extremely careful. All right, got it. Download complete. About time! Got it. All right, people. Let's get the hell out of here. Skip the F FBI building. Whatever we're paying you, you're worth it. 
Let's go. Oh. Well, he didn't make it. Nope. You sure, man? Because he might be. Nope. He didn't make it. Are you funny, my motherfucker? Let's get the fuck out of here. No, too high. The wind will tie us in a knot. We gotta keep moving. Come on, let's go. Hey. Oh. Make an honest killer like me sick. Hey, let's move. Let's go. Hey, we right behind you, dog. Stop! I can't, I can't, I can't. This'll do. Set up the rigs. All right, come on. What's going on on the outside? Ground units, air units, every unit in the state is on the way. I don't know if you have the firepower to hold them off. ETA is any minute. Well, then we better get gone before they show up. Let's get the fuck out of here, D. Yeah, okay. let's get out. Blow this joint. Over to the right, dog. Man, it's about every cop in L.S. County on the way. It don't look like they're for us. Not yet, at least. An air unit CD on the side of the building. Look out, guys. Ah, crap! They got a bird! Go, man! Is that our backup helicopter? We can repel to the street oh. over there. That's it. Gotta go. No shit. Let's get cracking, man. Unless you're feeling at home in this bed building. Hey, you want to sign with Trevor? Feel free. Man, I was just fucking with you, dog. Let's do this shit. Trevor's supposed to be meeting us at the front of the building. Moving! 
This is fun. We did it. Place for a debrief. Hey, that was a good call on the ambulance, Eddie. I saw what was going on in the bureau, man. I wasn't gonna drive up in something obvious. That's the thinking we pay you to do. Mm-hmm. Well, now we're clear, I can probably say I never expected to make it out of there. Yeah, sure, man. <laughs> we had it covered. Oh, really? It was covered, was it? Uh, yeah. Last I had the plan. It was all set up. Yeah, we had a plan. Hold on to the nastiest team of crooked FIB agents in the country while the last of the baby boomers pretends he's a hacker? Come on. It was hope. And then when the chopper crashed? Oh, man. I thought there was no fucking way. Why do you think Lester burned down the business? Hell, why do you think I'm doing it for nothing? And these clowns are getting paid? My cut's going to the kid's college fund, if that's any consolation. A couple more scores, they're taken care of. And I can think about getting out of the game. Yeah, hey. Good luck with that. Hey, man, tell him you messing with him, Mike. Hey, I was semi sort of serious, but joke once you react like that, all right? Chill out. Look, man, he was just messing with y'all. It's his great sense of humor. The FIB people who put us up to this, they probably gonna pop him anyway to clean up loose ends. And if they don't, he got a homeboy named Trevor that probably will. That's a good point. I ain't gonna have the time to spend it, so enjoy. Eddie, the place is up here. Can you ditch the vehicle and drop this guy where he wants to go? I'll take care of it. Right. Ah, I think Lester let himself in. Damn, Frank. Oh. Jesus! Yeah. Any longer, and I was gonna torch this place too. <laughs> hey, you did it! We, we did, did it! Yeah! Fucking it! Hey, where's my liquor at, dog? I got it. It's right here. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Here it is. Come here. Here. There you go. Man, you may be a conflicting, hypocritical, self-loathing old bastard, dog, but there's no one else. I'd rather rob a federal building with you. Amen <laughs> to that. Thank you, boys. Cheers. 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 So, you want another drink? I think I better stay at least a little bit sober. I gotta deal with Davy and Dickwad yet. Put things to bed. Man, you want me to roll with you, dog? No, no, I'd probably better do this alone. I mean, we did everything. We're all in this together, right? So as long as we all... We're are all in this together. To to us. All right, see you, dog. Take care. Man, it's Trevor, and I'm out. Oh, we're gonna need Trevor. Maybe you should give him a call now. Oh, fuck them. After I take care of this shit. All right, all right, well, take care of yourself. Breaking! That's the last needs a drink. We hit the bureau for you, Dave. I'm done. Yes, I saw that. Meet me at the court center and I'll debrief you. I'm out, Davey. From now on, done. I appreciate that. I'm trying my best for you, but, but you and Trevor attacking Merriweather? Repeatedly? It doesn't help. That's Trevor's thing. Whoever's thing it is, it's unauthorized and it's dumb. They've been sniffing around my office. We really need to talk. Really? <sighs> all right, all right. I'll come to the court center.
one second. Okay, it's supposed to be. Ah. Ah, see? Maybe that's why we're such great friends, huh? We're old school, we like old-fashioned things. Newspaper, celluloid. Good guys, bad guys. We're friends? Yes. Well, I don't know, you tell me. We did what you said, right? Got those people off your back? Now you're gonna do like you said, and cut me loose, right? Things are not gonna work out quite that way. There's a bit of a problem. That's right, Davey boy, you can say that. Steve, I told you I would handle oh, this. Oh, because you handled everything so fucking well so far, haven't you? All right, I admit things have been a little unorthodox, I'm but... fucking orthodox! You've ruined my career! Agent Sanchez, arrest these men, both of them. Oh, oh whoa! On, please! Are you fucking kidding me? Arrest me for what? For multiple counts of every fucking crime under the fucking sun. Oh, well, then let me rephrase. Why? Why? Because... Because you don't want me to testify in court about our various business dealings, right? Agent Sanchez, apprehend the suspect! Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Now, Steve, we agreed to speak to Michael, to try and explain things to him, not this. This causes problems for us all. Okay, okay. Then put your gun down and we'll talk. After you, buddy. Come on, where's the trust? You can do better than that. They know or think they know that I'm the one that was behind the incident. Uh-huh. And now you want me to clean up your mess again, right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. Fun time is over. We've got you. Anti-American activity. Put your weapons down, all of you. Oh my god, how many people are there? You fucking rat. I knew you didn't have the balls for this. For the record, I'm a patriot. I love my country. Put the weapons down. Fuck you! We all know you agency boys are ball deep in a plot to drive up your funding by any means necessary. Boys with the gun, down, gentlemen. Who the fuck are they? Fucking Merriweather! What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. Oh! Saint oh. Blake. oh! Fuck! Bullshit! I ain't going anywhere, Davy, until 
some more of these guys kill each other. Okay, hold her 12. Uh, nine. Okay, our... <laughs> Okay, well that doesn't make sense at all. How did I die from that? Probably somebody shot me. on him. No! 
done! I gotta get out before someone clocks my chopper. Hey, thanks, T. This is our shot. I'm making a run for the parking lot. Get clear or we'll talk. many bodies, there'll be cars in the lot. Put as much dirt between you and this place as you can. And do not contact me until you're absolutely sure you're clear. This one's mine. Good luck. Hey, before you disappear, we need to have a conversation. So conversate. Not here. We'll be behind the pawn shop in Morningwood. This is crazy. I just, I'm stealing right now a Lamborghini. I think I'll pimp this car later. That was fun. What are you doing smoking? Huh? Come on, man. No, no, no. Hey, hey, hey. You know, huh? Yeah, well, maybe it's got a little something to do with being caught in the middle of a three-way firefight between two government agencies and a private militia. You know, it gets me a little stressed out. Okay, but we still need you alive, Mikey boy. I mean, you know, at least for now. Unless, of course, you have another surprise for me. Huh? Maybe something to do with another inappropriate friendship? That wasn't exactly Dave's fault. No, no, no. He's just the friendly face of a corrupt government agency looking to further his career by dealing with an equally corrupt and full to the fucking brim with bullshit low rent hood. Listen, Trevor, listen, I've been meaning. Uh, you know, I've been meaning. I've been meaning to tell you. You know, I've been. Well, what, homie? What do you been meaning to tell me, huh? That you stabbed me in the back, or that you were and always will be. A worthless wretch who deserves to be put under. Yeah, well, no, what the fuck, fuck did you come back for? Oh, you know why. Ah, oh, no, no, no. One last score. Mm. Mm -hmm. And if it goes good, guess what? I don't have to put a little bullet in your head. But if it goes bad, well, that's okay too. Because then you and I get to go to hell. And I get to spend the rest of eternity with you, tormenting you. Well, I guess it's on then. Yeah, I guess it is. Call Lester. Let's go. On speakerphone. Hey, it's me. I know. How'd it go? Just fabulous. Ran into an old friend. As a matter of fact, he saved my ass. Ooh, we're all friends now. I suppose a group hug's out of the question. <laughs> he wants to, uh, still go on the final victory tour. All right, when it looks like it's a go, I'll contact you. And remember this, gentlemen. If we pull this off, we will be making history. Sorted, nasty, depraved history, but history, nonetheless. All right, there. You happy? Fucking thrilled. Don't forget, amigo. Keep my eye on you. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> well, that went well. I feel like playing more. Let's play as Franklin. Let's see what he's up to.
Nice. Let's go with Michael. My car! Let's go to Solomon. Michael. You done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I love you. You're, you're like my spirit brother now. <sighs> Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives of film, whatever the fuck it is. The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. Ah, and in this economy, the city's gonna let me build tax-free. I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant thing. It is all thanks to you and Molly's eye for the details of the insurance policy. Michael, they're fucking us. The suits. And they don't even wear suits, wolves, and turds clothing. Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Look, people used to like films. Now they like what? Videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phones. Don't blame me. iFruit. I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. But evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly, namaste. Can I take the film now, Mr. Richards? My plane leaves in 25 minutes. Can't we do something? At least let me finish the picture, then close the place down. I'm afraid our timetable doesn't allow for that. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore, somewhere nice and discreet. Analog. God, it's certainly got its complications. Michael, can you do something? I'll do it. You can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. <sighs> My wife got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi. Huh. That. I'm a producer. Nobody fucks with my film. Yeah, that's what I want to hear. I love you, Michael. Get to the airport. Talk to her. That's it. I gotta take a really fast car. Up to. 
Just give me the goddamn clip! Never! Oh, I definitely do now. On the floor, lady. On the fucking floor. He killed people. Help me. There's no way. Lady, you need him. Get Fred. Save me from this murder. Out of my way. Oh, stop. Look out. Oh! Shoot. Hey, I'm just a witness, okay? I got what I came for. I'm leaving. Hey, you got some mess to clean up. Leave me alone. All this mayhem, nothing to do with me. Get him. Where else? Oh, there it is. She's the one behind this. No. Hey, I ain't done anything. That's the most you got on me. Hey, I'm just a witness, okay? Damn it.
<sighs> okay, it turns out I had a parachute to begin with. I'm gonna try again. Okay, that truck was in the way. Oh no, I'm gonna crash, I'm gonna crash, I'm gonna crash. I should have stayed outside. Yeah! Ew, gay. Made it. 
good. I saved you again, Davy. Again. So what are you gonna do for me about Haynes, the rest of the FIB, the IAA, and everyone else, huh? History's written by the living, okay? I get that story right and the agency and bureau will back off. The problem we need to deal with is Trevor. Trevor? Why? Try Merriweather. Chinese gangsters, general insanity, and so on. I can spin Steve that you're controllable, but not Trevor. Steve. He's our wounded hero right now. I gotta cozy up to him, calm him down. Just get me out. Oh! Okay, let's, let's be Franklin. This is why I don't respect Roe Wu. Okay, I'm gonna admit, that last mission I did with Michael, that was crazy. time. that you want me to perform. One hundred percent guaranteed. That's a beauty right there. If that car was a woman, I'd guess her. like 
like driving on velvet. Now what? Again? Oh, I see. What's up? Hey, huh? What you doing here? I mean, I'm real glad you're here. Come here. Come I can't on. stay. What's up, babe? Look, it's Lamar. What about him? Who won't now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My nigga. <laughs> I mean, not like that, man. But no, he ain't. He just another nigga from the hood. Him stretching all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. Well, shit, it works for me. It can work for you, babe. I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Well, what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar. You got to help him, Franklin. Man, that shit is over. Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO <laughs> and investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. What? I ain't saying you got to marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you and him put on with Stretcher set him up. Oh, fuck, man. My whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying a price afterwards. Fuck. Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. For you? For you? You and your doctor? I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but this life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own. I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear. It ain't for me. Not done bad or done good. Hey, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough, but at least respect what you do, who you are. If you let that idiot die, you a bigger asshole than I thought. Look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Ugh, you do what you gotta do. Well, we gotta stop Lamar. What's up? Hey, man. I'm in a bit of a bad situation. My boy Lamar got set up. I think he up near Polito Bay at some sawmill with some ballers. Could you, like, do some computer magic and look into it? Is that possible at all? It uh, should be. I've got a back door into the Polito Bay police network left over from the score we did up there. Uh, give me a second here. Uh, hold on. Uh, uh, yes. So what it say? Huh. Uh, this must be it. Uh, there are older reports of a weed operation being run by an African-American gang. Uh, the files got buried, so uh, I'm guessing they paid off the cops. They growing weed up there? Growing it in the hills, most likely, but they might be packing and shipping it out of this sawmill. I'd expect a fair few of them up there. Shit. And I'm gonna need some help. Can you tell Mike and Trevor to meet me up there? They still aren't getting along that well. Tell them it's for me, and it's serious. Thanks, man.
All right, I think I might end the video and continue this mission in the next video. So thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.